Hey everybody, it's Deborah. So we're going to quickly start in with the Neutrogena Full Face Lotion. It's an SPF of 70. It's been really good. I like it. Um, it gives me a lot of moisture without having to put moisture underneath a regular sunscreen, whereas the makeup doesn't apply very well with a regular sunscreen. My doctor told me after I had the freezing of my forehead and my nose that you shouldn't put a moisturizer under sunscreen. And I'm like, what the heck are you guys talking about? I have never heard that. But it makes a lot of sense. You know, our skin is like a sponge. If we put the moisturizer underneath the sunscreen, the sunscreen won't penetrate to the levels we need it to. So it was like ding, ding, ding so common sense and so basically I'm applying it to you know my face my neck and my chest and later you know I'll probably put the sunscreen another sunscreen everywhere it wasn't very expensive I think it was only like it was under ten dollars I think um, so I tend to it's a pretty big bottle too it's a it's a three ounces so not bad I uh, I like it, but you have to let it soak in. So next I'm going in with the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. The label has fallen off. I think it was like a little, oh no, it's in light. Where is the thing? Light? Yeah, just light to medium, I think. 12 hour makeup, oil free. Now, I tend to have really, really, really dry skin, and especially with this freezing and this uh, cream, this cancer cream that I'm having to apply, I'm even drier. I would normally not wear the Tarte, but with the Neutrogena sunscreen lotion, it has been really good. It gives me enough moisture underneath to make the Tarte foundation work really well. Now I'm using my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. I don't normally like this brush as much as other brushes or my Beauty Blender. And I should have used my Beauty Blender, but I wanted to see how this would work. It's not dense enough. It's very, um, it just doesn't have enough in it to give that support. So I will be pushing it in with my fingers real soon because my fingers are warmer and it will help, you know, blend it out in a flawless finish that I like anyway. So this, this video is going to be mostly about the allergies that I'm getting with the makeup that I am using in this video. It will be apparent real soon. So I'm just kind of pushing it in with my fingers and um, making sure there's no lines yeah, looks like I'm having a migraine. Anyway, <laughs> so right now I am using the e.l.f. concealer in, I think it's in real light, very fair, very light. I don't see the label on it. No, no, it's called Light Beige. And this one is uh, very thin. It's not a very thick one. Listen to my dog. She's going crazy. And it's good for daily, like just during the day. But it's not good for like if you're going out, you know, on the town. I would probably use something a lot thicker. Um, but it's okay. It's not the best. I mean, Elf is decently priced. And I tend to like it okay. So now I'm applying it to my nose. So I usually just do under my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead, and sometimes my cupid, cupid's bow and my chin. Then I'm going to go in with this 5-in-1 Bare Minerals BB Advance Performance Cream Eyeshadow. You can use it under eyeshadow as a base or you can use it alone does have an SPF. Well, here's where the problems all started. I started applying it to my eyes 
and I found out that it wasn't working as well as far as it wasn't blending. So I started using the Beauty Blender um, to spread it out better. And it just, um, I don't know, it just started getting really thick and dry. And then my eyes started watering, like profusely, like they turned the faucet on. So I had used this before. This is not a new one to me. It was almost, it's almost like empty. Maybe it was too dry, maybe it sat too long. I doubt it though, it's not that old. So here I am just, you know, trying to get my eyes to blend out. And then I'm going to start tearing up. I couldn't believe it. It was just anything that I did, it was getting worse and worse. And I'm getting frustrated. So right now I'm taking a tissue, dabbing my eyes. I'm trying to make it okay. I think I'm using the Beauty Blender still. But it just keeps getting worse and worse. So there'll be a there'll be a break in here because A, my eyes were watering so bad. Then my camera started acting up and I was just getting so frustrated. So here, you know, I start contouring and I'm using an and it's called Ofra or Ofra, O F R A foundation palette. It's an oil-free dual foundation. You can use it as a contour, also. And you know, I do the cheeks and I do the the typical, um, you know, where you want the contour to go. Now I don't have any cheekbones at all, so I have to fake it. And I do it, you know, from the middle behind, you know, right at the end of my eye and going back to behind my ear. And it works pretty well for me. And then I will put a, uh, a blusher on top. I usually don't use a highlighter much. Sometimes I do. So then I'll put a little oh bit of my... You guys are going to die. So I, my eyes started watering so bad with that 5-in-1 uh, Benefit. I think it's a Benefit. I'll redo it for you, but I just started watering extremely bad, and then that camouflage stuff was like squirting all over the place, and anyway, and then my camera stopped working, so I will talk through what I did a little bit, so right now I have um, 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 uh, eyeshadow on, and I was using the um, hard candy Hard Candy Palette. It is wonderful. It is matte, all matte, with a range of colors from, you know, a light, light pale pinkish color to a nice neutral skin color to a dark, dark brown with a nice transition color that I like. It's like an orangey brown, but it doesn't like show up weird. I love it. I really like it a lot. All right, everybody, everything has went wrong this morning. <laughs> so I'm gonna finalize and put the rest, the last eye of mascara on as long as I don't water all over the place. I think all this makeup is coming off today and I kind of liked it. I kind of liked my eyes, and, but that five in one almost killed me. I'm telling you, that was bad. And it could have been a combo of the 5-in-1 and that rice powder. So I need to make sure that I'm not allergic to one of those. Or probably won't use that 5-in-1 again. I'll get rid of it. That was bad. And it was dry. Did you guys notice how dry it was? I had to, you know, wet a beauty blender so I could pat it down. Yeah, so this is not a good, not good. <laughs> oh my god, I'm falling apart. Look, I'm getting makeup everywhere. <laughs> Alright, so let's clean this 
this off. Yay, dab, dab, dab. All right, so glasses on head as normal. We're gonna take this little clip out. And this is the funniest, funniest of my hair. So I need to color my hair. I am not a natural redhead. Shh, don't tell anybody. So, um, blonde growing up, towhead all the way until I was about 17. And then blonde got darker. I am so congested from this stuff. It's crazy. Still watering. Anyway. I'm not going to do any more talking, so <laughs> if you love this video, give it a thumbs up, <laughs> subscribe if you like, oh my god, I'm just going to put it up, I don't care, if you guys don't like it, that's fine, and the criticism is going to be great, so <sighs> I can't wait to get this stuff off my eyes. So thank you very, very much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Today is Friday. I don't know when I'm going to get this video up. I might just delete it. You never know. But have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And remember, <laughs> if you guys are having an allergy attack from any of your makeup, just get rid of it. It's not even worth it. I think I left, I kept it because I thought maybe it was something else. So, no, it's not. I wonder what's in it that makes it, what makes it bad. So, oh, I didn't even do lipstick. Really quickly, this is, this is, you know, I like, I like the consistency of this lipstick. Um, it's a Moisture Renew Nude in the City by Rosetto. Yeah. Oh, it's a Rimmel. And it's a nice nude. It's a really, really nice nude. But the, here's the thing is it doesn't last very long. So you have to do other things with it. Like 